Good morning, friends, and Merry Christmas. It's still pretty early here, but something kind of strange has happened last night. Strange, at least, for eastern Tennessee. It snowed a lot. So I'm certainly no stranger to snow. Holly and I lived in Michigan for several years, but it is kind of strange to see it this far south in Tennessee, especially this much. Don't get me wrong, it has snowed here a few times since we've lived here, but it's never accumulated quite like this. There's Fighter greeting Christmas morning for us. Now, this is the chicken's first experience with a snow like this as well. They're not fans of it, so I'm bringing them some hot water, which I'm gonna check periodically throughout the day. And I'm gonna set out hay in front of their coop. They don't like to walk on snow, but they will walk on the hay. I don't, I'm either going to have to force it open or pour some hot water on it. So I got this bowl of hot water. I'm gonna try dipping a cup into it, pouring the hot water over the seams of the door to try and open this thing up. Chickens are panicking inside. They know that they can get out, but the guy that normally lets them out, which is me, isn't doing it. And they're hungry and probably thirsty too. And now they're a little bit wet. Took a sledgehammer, mallet hammer. All right, ladies, come on out. All's well that ends well, I suppose. I put out a little more hay for the chickens and they seem to be enjoying walking on it, getting their water, getting their food. But I'm a little bummed in several pieces of my infrastructure that just don't seem very well suited to handle the winter. There's the chickshaw, which I built that door to be really tight. It looks like that may have been a mistake. I probably should have made it a little bit looser in its seating. There's also the Premier One fence, which I'm not even going to bother turning on today. It's just weighted down, um, covered in snow. The poles are all bent. I think I even remember reading on the Premier One website somewhere that these fences are not made for winter weather, and that's very apparent now as I look around at this thing. We did keep chickens in Michigan 
And of course we had to deal with the snow there, but we didn't keep them in a free range fenced off paddock like we do here. We kept them in a shed and they had deep bedding over the winter. So again, I didn't expect this type of weather today here in Tennessee. So I may need to come up with some winter solutions for these birds. After doing some research, it seems like snow and cold of this magnitude is actually pretty rare in Tennessee. Apparently something that only happens once every few decades. So I'm going to spend the rest of my morning going around the property and taking as many pictures as I can. Before I do that though, I had a couple of special thank yous that I wanted to give out. First to all of my subscribers, both old and new, thank you. Holly and I have only been doing this homesteading thing now for about three and a half months and it has not been easy, but the encouragement that you guys have given us and the comments that you've left us have really made a big difference. So again, I say thank you. Also, I'd like to give a special shout out to three YouTube channels, The Kramer Life, Growing Little Country Homestead, and Celtic Roots Farm. These guys have been a tremendous source of inspiration and mentorship to me, both as a new homesteader and a new YouTuber. I can't even begin to count the amount of times that they've gone out of their way to offer encouragement, guidance, help, and well, it means a lot to Holly and I. It also doesn't hurt that they produce really amazing binge-worthy content. I'm including the links to their channels below and I'd highly encourage you to check them out and subscribe to them if you haven't already. Anyways, I'm gonna get to taking some pictures. So until next time, keep warm.